You don't need to spend a lot of money to look stylish this spring summer because all the trends you need are actually already hanging in your closet. And today I'm gonna to share a few simple ways to give those pieces a modern makeover. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. I've recently read a really inspiring article in InStyle magazine about how this season is easier than ever to love some of the clothes that we already own. And I thought, hang on, there is a lot in this because a couple of the trends or probably should say many of the trends this season are basics or nostalgic pieces that most of us actually already own. The secret is to put a fresh spin on those pieces, style them a little differently, and just think about them in a different way to give them a whole new look and feel, which is actually bang on trend for this season. So in today's episode, I'm going to share a few simple tips to help you make the pieces that you already own look and feel more fashion forward. Now, the first thing you need to do is have a little bit of an awareness of some of the trends that you can expect to see this spring summer i have created a couple of videos featuring those trends i will link them in the description box below but you can have a little scroll online you can have a look at your favorite local stores because they're starting to roll out some of the spring summer trends right now so you can get a look and feel of what is happening in terms of those trends then what i suggest you do is going to your closet and picking out some of those pieces that do fit the bill. I think you might be surprised that some of the most popular spring summer trends have been here for a while already. They have just been slightly modified and slightly updated. So the great news is that I am sure that most of you will own some of these pieces already. But the key for you at this point is to pick out those trends that you want to continue wearing or you would like to amplify and perhaps give a little sort of fresh spin on. Now the key is really to identify identify which of those trends are going to work for you and potentially which of those trends you already own. Even if you just pick one or two new season trends, it gives you a place to start and a bit of a reference point to look and see whether there is any crossover between the trends that we're about to see or that have already just landed in store and those pieces that you've already got in your wardrobe. It might be easy at this point just to create a little bit of a list and marry that list up with those pieces that you already own. Next up, it's important that we find new and interesting ways to update those pieces. So hopefully by this point, you've grabbed those pieces out of your wardrobe. You've got your list there of some of the key trends for the season that you could see working for you. And then you need to get a little bit of inspiration in terms of how you can give those pieces a little bit of an extra zhuzh up. And it might be in the way of adding some few season accessories or just styling some pieces differently. We all do get stuck in a little bit of a rut and style the same outfit over and over again without extending that and mixing and matching different pieces that we already own. So think about how you can style some of the pieces that you own a little differently or how you can add some accessories just to give them a little bit more of a modern look and feel. But getting some basic inspiration on how to do this is a really key part in feeling inspired to look at your clothes a little differently. So for me personally, I'll go onto Pinterest, I will Google and I'll perhaps say Google if I'm looking at a pink blazer, for instance, I will Google pink blazer street style. That will already show me a whole lot of different outfit ideas and combinations of pieces that I know I haven't thought of. So from that, I tend to start a Pinterest board, a private Pinterest board. So I'm kind of trying to build a little bit of a lookbook or a little bit of a mood board for creating some new outfits from those pieces. But take a look at some of those key pieces that you own that are going to be on trend and certainly start getting inspired whether it's pinterest instagram tiktok you name it get some inspiration keep that all in one place whether it's on your camera roll on your phone or whether it's on pinterest whatever is easiest for you but essentially you need that reference point you need a mood board to get you inspired and at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, if you would like to build any sort of online presence, then Squarespace is the easiest and most effective way to do it. I've used Squarespace for a number of years now, working on client websites and also my own blog, so I know how easy it is to use. And if you're anything like me and you're not overly tech savvy, then Squarespace makes the whole process 
seamless and really easy. There are some amazing templates on offer. So if you'd like to build a website, you can grab one of the Squarespace templates and within a very short space of time, you can be up and running with your own shiny, very professional looking website. The other great thing about Squarespace is that you can sell products from your website or you can simply blog. Whatever your needs are, Squarespace has an answer and makes the whole thing so easy. Now today I have an amazing offer to share with you and that is to save 10% off your first Squarespace website or domain. Now what I suggest you do is whip on over to squarespace.com, take advantage of the free trial and when you're ready to push play, simply use my unique URL which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my code which is simply the style insider and that will give you that 10% off. I will leave a link in the description box below to make it easy for you but if you are planning on getting online or building any sort of website then Squarespace is most definitely the easiest way to do it. Now my next tip is to not be scared to DIY your clothes and some of the key trends this season totally lend themselves to DIYing pieces that you already own. Now I know I'm always talking about Karen Britchick here on my channel but she recently wore this amazing blazer to Fashion Week and it had all of this beautiful fringing over the shoulder and sort of down and around the back of the blazer. Now fringing is a really key trend for spring summer and this just lends itself to grabbing a piece that you currently own, maybe DIYing some fringing on it. There are always ways that we can make the pieces work harder and give them more longevity. When I saw Karen wearing this blazer, I immediately thought, what blazer can I do this in my wardrobe? How can I do this myself? So it's a really cost-effective way to update my wardrobe. So it's really about thinking about those sorts of ideas. Now you'll have your mood board, you'll have your inspirational picks to give you an idea. So then you can kind of look at what pieces you own. Maybe you own a t-shirt that potentially you could cut off and crop it, a denim jacket that you could crop to make it a little shorter. Maybe you could embellish some of your favorite denim jeans or a denim skirt. These are things that are very much happening. They're trends that I've been talking about quite a bit here on my channel and that you will see time and time again when you look at whether it's H&M or Zara or some of those high street main sort of chain stores. They will have and feature all of the cutting edge trends. So have a look there, see what you own and see how you can customize it without having to be a seamstress or have any fancy talents or skills. You can DIY some of your pieces just to make them look and feel a little bit more on trend. I recently saw a very cool YouTuber who created a maxi denim skirt from an old pair of jeans. I'll actually link that video in the description box below because it was just a great way of turning something old into something new and modern because maxi denim skirts are definitely where it's at this season as well. There are plenty of ways we just need to get inspired and then think a little bit differently about those clothes that we already own. One of the key takeaways from that InStyle article was about how we need to think a little bit more nostalgically about those pieces that we own. Now these might be pieces that we've kind of stored away somewhere because we haven't worn them for a number of seasons or they may be pieces that we could look at borrowing from our brother, our boyfriend, our husband or some significant man in our lives because after all oversized baggy jeans are happening this season still we're wearing oversized blazers so go further afield and perhaps you know dig out some pieces that you have stored away I often talk on my channel here about parking pieces that you move out of your wardrobe and saving them to perhaps bring back and reinvest into your current wardrobe now's the time to do exactly that if you have parked pieces from seasons past drag them out and see if there is something there that is going to work and look and feel great for the new season this season is all about distressing so that's a very easy way to give some of your sweaters and vests a simple modern update and a whole new look and feel and especially for pieces that you've written off and you thought you weren't going to wear again this might be the time that you can bring them back especially some of the retro footwear and sneakers that you may have parked as well think retro think nostalgic pieces from years beforehand that you've possibly stored away somewhere hopefully. Now is also a great time to think a little differently about those pieces that we own so think about crossing over seasons and also think about crossing over occasions because I know that we all very much get stuck in a little bit of a trap of thinking okay these pants are my work pants I wear them to the office and that is it but grab those 
pants, grab the corporate office attire that you generally just wear to work and look at how you can pair it with some of your more casual pieces to give your whole wardrobe a new modern spring summer look and feel. And the same goes for trans seasonal. I know that a lot of us tend to think, okay, here's our cold weather, winter weather wardrobe and here's our spring summer wardrobe. Sometimes those pieces can very much cross over and we generally tend to just often sort of tunnel vision the pieces that we own. So so think wider about absolutely everything that we own so that you can mix and match them perhaps more than you ever have before because if there was a season to mix and match and a season to bring in some of those older pieces it is this spring summer now this next tip is not necessarily free and it may cost you a few dollars here and there but what I do suggest is to thrift some of your new season clothes but thrift with intention I think it's really pointless going into a thrift store wandering around aimlessly trying to find something to wear for the new season unless you have a clear idea of the trends that you are looking to thrift and again that comes back to my first tip where we need to write down a little bit of a list and have a bit of a plan for the spring summer trends that work for us and with that list we will soon see some of the missing links and some of the missing pieces that will help us create more outfits from those pieces we already own so go back to that list and then look at what those missing links are or look at the pieces that you perhaps need another option in and go and thrift those pieces but thrift with intention take that list with you and specifically go to look for a pair of baggy jeans go to the men's section to look for some oversized jeans that you can belt in and wear to look on trend look for some embellished jeans because they're very much on trend. Look at some of the key new season colour trends, whether it's cobalt or whether it's a pastely pink. Check out some of those new season colours. Look and think about what's going to work for you and then that gives you direction when you go into a thrift store to go ignore all of those colours and go straight to the colours that are not only on trend but you love and you know will work for you. And last but not least what I do suggest is you buy new season pieces with purpose. Now I I know this is not exactly what my title in this video says but if you do get to this point and you need to update your wardrobe to look a little more on trend this season then by this point if you followed the previous steps you'll have a really good understanding of what pieces you need to simply update your outfits and give your wardrobe very much an on trend spring summer look and feel and that means that you'll be buying with purpose you will be going into store or going online and looking for pieces that you absolutely know are missing from your lineup. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all about wearing and re-wearing the pieces that we already own, but sometimes adding one or two new season pieces is all it takes just to give your entire wardrobe a whole new look and feel or give you a whole lot more options when it comes to creating outfits. Buying a pair of pants that are really on trend that you know you can mix and match with different tops that you own or buying a cobalt blue bomber or buying that piece that you love and that says spring summer to you and works with the other pieces that you own will give you a, a lot more option and just extend your current wardrobe but those pieces need to be purchased with purpose instead of randomly going to the store and buying pieces that you like that potentially will sit there or they won't work as hard as pieces that have been bought with real purpose and planning and if you ask me one of the most important parts of any outfit is our footwear and if you would like to see the top footwear trends for spring summer, then click or tap on the screen here and I'll see you there.